But first, some new developments tonight in a deadly shooting in Cranston. A man accused of shooting and killing his girlfriend's adult son. I'm Kim Kalunian. And I'm Shannon Heggy. Police now telling us the shooting was the result of a heated argument between the two. 12 News reporter Rob Nesbitt has been on the scene since this afternoon. He joins us live in Cranston now with the new details we're learning tonight. Rob? Shannon, investigators just cleared the scene a few minutes ago. Cranston police say that this is the home on B Street where Zoyce was shot, and they also say that both he and the person charged with his murder both lived here. Neighbors I talked to were shocked to hear the details. A quiet neighborhood with no crime is how residents describe Cranston's B Street. Such a nice street, it's quiet. Until Tuesday when police discovered 41-year-old Paul Zoyce at 17 B Street shot and unconscious next door to where Stu Kordick has lived for 14 years. Shocking, yeah. and to have something like this happen, that's, and, and especially here, you know, especially on this street in this area. I mean, Knightsville is a, is a great area. Police say that Zoyce got into an argument with his mother's boyfriend, 73-year-old Charles Ganji. Ganji allegedly then took one of his handguns and shot Zoyce in the chest. Colonel Michael Winquist confirmed that Zoyce was pronounced dead after he was taken to Rhode Island Hospital. Yeah. You'll never hear anything around here like that. Patricia Fullhart lives two streets over from B Street. She was surprised to find out that a fatal shooting happened so close to home. What, how does it make you feel knowing that there was a shooting just two streets over? Very scared. I always say for this, I've been living around here a long time, so now I'm scared knowing that there was a shooting. According to police, Ganji was at the home when police showed up and told them that he was responsible for the shooting. Ganji faces a number of charges, including first-degree murder. Police say that Zoyce's mother and aunt were both home at the time of the shooting, but that neither of them were hurt. Reporting live in Cranston, I'm Rob Nesbitt, 12 News.